Aquarius is in the house. Welcome to the existential shift with moi, Morgan. Hi, Seeker. If you've been around for a while, I love you. Thank you for coming back. If you're new, nice to meet you. Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North Node. For January. Because it's New Year's. The Gregorian calendar's New Year's starts now in January. The Chinese New Year's actually starts in February. I can see that. I can see how it can equally with the energies start in January, but also with the energies maybe start after all the eclipses in February. I can see that. Aquarius. Very serious energy. Decision making. I shuffled the cards a little bit before I pressed play. The Ace of Swords came out twice. I'm getting very uh, precise analytical vibe coming in from the collective of my Aquarius Seekers. Oh, and you're thinking, and you're thinking, and you're thinking. See, the cards are not coming up, out, but not because they don't want to. They're being, I'm, I'm shuffling them, it feels pretty smooth. Just, they want to make sure that it's the right cards that come out. I want to make sure it's the right decision. I want to make sure it's the right way. Hey, at least I know it works, because look what I have here. The justice, which is exactly what I've been describing right now in the first two minutes. Page of Pentacles also. And Queen of Wands, which is slightly different energy, but good to have some balance. Okay. So, justice. That's the sharp analytical aspect of what I just described. The decision making. Page of Pentacles brings hesitation and a little bit of concern because justice is very um, harsh and fast and just does without any concern of how it will result for themselves or for the others because as long as it's truthful, as long as it's just, that's what matters. The Page of Pentacles, on the other hand, he, he, he wants to do things right, but he's a bit more hesitant because he cares. He cares about himself. He cares about his environment, which is perfectly legit. He's a bit more human than the Justice card. He has a heart, right? Queen of Wands. You want to do the right thing, but you also want to be liked. You want to lead, but you want to be crowd's favorite. I would say, theoretically, generally, that, you know, sometimes the truth is not liked, and sometimes if you want to do the right thing, you can't focus on how, whether or not people like you, but in this case, I'm sensing that the energy we're coming in with is very much the justice, justice, it's very harsh somewhat, but then with the Page of Pentacles leading to the Queen of Pentacles, I'm feeling more like... The energy is being eased up by a sense of humanity. This is a little bit of a reminder of like, it, it, it can signify like a narrative of uh, There's a, a song in Hebrew that says, The dry law never gets wet. It is what it is. That's how the book says. That's truth. That's lie. That's the decision. Very, very dry. Very sharp, right? And in this case, I'm feeling like the dry law is getting wet, meaning there's the human story behind uh, the doing, right? It's not just what they did, it's also, it's, it's mostly the intention behind it uh, that matters. So those of you who feel like you want to apologize to someone, for something and you're scared that they'll be very rigid with you I feel a sense of more um, warm heart kind of thing where they'll be forgiving and, and, and in tuned to your story and vice versa so and if it's vice versa then the advice is 
if you're being in a place that is judging or discerning, then the advice is, wait, listen to the story. Listen to the picture that is bigger than the sum of its parts. Um, I almost took a sip from the candle. Tea. Life is short. Eat dessert first. Okay. The justice would be like, you can't eat dessert first. And the queen of wands would be like, life is short. Eat dessert first. And the page of pentacles in between would be like, you're right, but you're right. I want you both to like. I want you both to like me, please. Okay. Also, let's just say things as they are. Three D is our way of living. Um, court system, lawyer, clerk, um, officer, representative of the law, but friendly. Making an offer. So I, I either see a uh, you know something alongside a settlement or um, an agreement, or like a mutual um, ease, uh, agreeing to ease the tension kind of thing. Um, see how many things you can see just from three cards? It's, it's unbelievable. And another thing is, um, some of you are trying to decide between studying in the academy, like being a student in the academy, something like, you know, like a degree, something very, um, uh, system oriented or if you want to uh, go your own way um, and be a freelance or an artist or independent or study more like you know like you can go to a college or you can take classes at a studio or like or like a course you know um, well, let's see where it leads to I keep getting a peace offer a peace offering peace offer I do have, oh, interesting, Libra, Virgo, Air, um, Leo, October, September, August, August, September, October. So possibly either August, September, October were very meaningful in this aspect of the things that I just mentioned, or um, August, September, October around 2019 are going to be meaningful in, in regards to what I've been describing here. I don't know. You tell me. Comment. Um, okay. Let's keep going for Aquarius, please, for January. Some of you are like, should I do the right thing or should I do the fun thing? <laughs> another Leo, another fire energy. The strength card. You guys, some of you are really following your heart. You were, or starting, either you're starting the month of January or going into the month of January with very much like a rigid point of view, making lists, pro, cons, should, shouldn't, right, wrongs, and then little by little, it eases down into, wait, but what does my heart want? What is my passion? What do I really want to do? Um, and you're listening to it. You're, 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 you're embracing your inner um, beast, your inner passion and will, and you're, you're not trying to suppress them or judge them. You're just like, okay, this is not my weakness. This is my strength. It's my strength, not my weakness. Some of you are really feeling empowered, like you, you, you're taking control over something um, with a warm, uh, positive, um, lighthearted kind of attitude, and people just want to um, cooperate with you because of that, Aquarius. I feel like there's a will to cooperate. Some of you are wanting to help animals. Like you want to volunteer or help or work with animals, uh, you want to fix a certain karma or fix a certain injustice, you want to use your knowledge. This could be someone studying the law to be, uh, you know, to, for, you know, like a, uh, learning uh, civil rights or being a um, human rights kind of attorney or advocate. I love it. Can you do animal rights, please? They don't have a voice. They can't defend themselves. They can't shout out we're in pain because they're behind, um, you know, walls. 
that we can't see them, we can't hear them, we can't smell their blood, but then it's fun and easy for us to eat them because we don't see it right in front of us. So, oh, it doesn't exist. Someone else is doing it. Yeah, you're paying someone else to do it for you. That's creating it. There was, there's the hit man and then there's the person who orders the hit. Ah. Yeah. You love it, you defend it. Or at least you don't hurt it. Simple. Two of Pentacles, yeah, there's a dilemma. There's still a dilemma. Should I stay or should I go? Should I do or should I don't? You are highly guided to listen to your heart. Um, once you do, doors will open up for you. Uh, going by the mind, it will not be serving you. The advice is very, very clear with these cards. Um, some of you really want to work for for a cause, for something you believe in, but you just don't know if it's something you should do. You have some fear that maybe it won't serve you. Maybe it's just the law student that doesn't know if they can actually make a living off of it. Here's the thing. If you hate what you do, you won't make a living. If you love what you do, you'll make a living. Love being a lawyer? Go be a lawyer. Love being a vet, veteran, a vet, go be a vet. Um, yes, the Empress. What What did I just say? You have to be very in tune with your nature. Very aligned with your nature, the Empress. She is very powerful in her realm of life and heart. And all the chakras, actually. She is very, very aligned and in tune to all of her, you know, all, all the aspects of her mechanism. She is all the queens. She's all the elements. So she's mastered the four elements of existence. She knows when to exert what and when to balance a few energies at once. And she does it lovingly with a smile. But she still is very um, assertive and stand up, stands up to what she believes in. She is Mother Nature, the, the element of animal kingdom or helping children, or helping the weak, um, something al along these lines is very encouraged for you to go and do, or just travel, or just really follow your creativity, your dream, what it is that you wanna do, because that's where you'll find your success. Your success is sitting right next to your dream. If you wanna reach out to your success, be like, dream, where are you? I'm coming, that's where you'll find success. I'm getting the sense of like, you know, like lands and, and, and oceans. Maybe some of you care about global warming. And hey, 51% of carbon dioxide um, is being released to the planet from the meat industry. I don't know if you know this. A lot of people don't know it. 49%, the remaining 49% is all the trains and jet skis and factories with their smoke. All of that together, together, together is 49 49 nine percent meat 51 percent we cut up we cut we cut off uh rainforests in the amazons uh, just to have more room to grow cattle we take we, we eliminate uh annihilate the thing that substitute carbon dioxide carbon dioxide back into oxygen which is trees and plants Thank you, plant, for giving me oxygen. Yeah, I'm a tree hugger. Proud. Anyway, so we cut that thing. We cut the thing that gives us oxygen just to create more carbon dioxide with less thing to uh, transmute it into oxygen. We are killing ourselves slowly so we can have a steak and we can have a burger. There's a Beyond Burger. I ate a burger today, a vegan burger made of, of uh, a pea protein and bamboo extract, which is tons of protein because all protein comes from the plants. The protein that you take from eating the cow, the cow took it from the soybeans that she ate or the avocado that she ate. 
And then your body's like trying to suck it through the veins and the flesh. Can I get my little bit of protein? Just give it protein straight off the plant. Oh, okay, sorry, a little bit of a rant, but I have a feeling people who's watching this either already care or know, um, or care enough, even though they don't know, care enough to learn. So for those of you who want to care, who care, then therefore want to know, uh, Cowspiracy, Earthlings, um, Okja, it's a lovely movie, you can find it on Netflix, um, the greatest lecture you've ever heard, uh, Gary Yurovsky. Tons of stuff to listen to and to learn. No more excuses. Knowledge is everywhere. If you don't know, it's because you don't want to know. If you don't want to know, it's because you're spiritually lazy. You want to know, then make a decision, this or that. That's great. That's a different argument. But at least I won't look down at you. A different argument choice is from comes from knowledge if you don't know what your choices are if you're only doing what it is that you were taught since age zero because that's your habits and that's your culture and that's what your parents do and that's what their parents did and that's what the commercials tell you so you'll buy their products if that's the truth that you choose that's not really a choice you don't know anything else how is it a choice how is it a choice know the options and then you choose go learn um okay you know what i'm gonna link below uh, links to these uh movies that i mentioned so why not so back to <laughs> if not in aquarius then where okay pisces i did that to pisces a few months ago i went on such a rant about the animal kingdom good Listen, if you're my subscriber and you really don't like to be told the truth just because it's inconvenient and kind of messes with your habits, you're, you're in the wrong place. I will mess with your habits right and left. I will make you feel like shit for having bad habits just to provoke you to change them. How would you change something if you don't feel like there's something wrong with it, if you don't feel bad about it? Why would you change it? If you feel great about it, if you feel like it's great and good and right, you won't change it. How is that helping your health? How is that helping the animals? How is that helping the planet? I'm just asking myself one question. Does it work? I'm not asking if I'm being polite. I'm not asking if you like what I'm saying. I'm asking, does this work or could potentially work? And yeah, it does. So, that's what you're going to get here. <clears throat> That's something that the Empress would do. I was giving you an example. You want to know Terra? This is a living example. That's, that's the sort of thing that the Empress will go on and on about. You think she just cares about being pretty? Then you don't know the Empress. The Empress is Demeter. She is the goddess of life, of everything, of creation. How can she create if, you keep, if us humans keep trying to mess it up? Like germs spreading around, killing her forests and her children. And then we call it the circle of life. Bullshit. Creating life just to abuse it and then torment it and torture it and kill it brutally just to eat the death energy of it. That's not the circle of life. That animal didn't get to live. That animal didn't get to die naturally by a carnivore in nature. You're not a carnivore. Google, biology, humanity. Is it a carnivore? Is it a omnivore? Is it a herbivore? You're a herbivore. Mr. Human, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the cards are like, okay, we're done. With the Empress, after Two of Pentacles, yet yeah. invest in the thing that you love and it will give you financial satisfaction and results. I see you guys being really empowered this month of January. I'm really proud of you. You're doing something for yourself. You're doing something for something you believe in. And you're making money off of it I mean or you're just working and making sure you're investing 
just because you are you want to invest in your dreams and it, it, it pays off from the page of Pentacles to the ace of Pentacles that's fantastic look at the growth from Queen of Wands the 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 mortal Leo to strength the divine Leo and then we have the divine everything this is a lot of abundance guys this is a whole lot of abundance it's like money is like knocking at your door just because you were sitting there being, I'm fabulous. You being fabulous. Some of you are working like with people you love. Some of you are working on a family business. Some of you are working from home and you're starting to ching, -ching. you're starting to get the dough. Congratulations. This could be pregnancy. Some of you are discovering you have something cute. In your um, oven growing a bun if you are congratulations <laughs> oh okay the hangman I love this, the, the after tarot they give such great extra oomph to things and oh beautiful this is exactly what I just been doing uh, Page of Cups and the High Priestess. Okay. Spiritual truths, emotional truths, and the willing to sacrifice in order to express them. I know this, this rant may have cost me subscribers. I'm not judging you for eating meat. I'm judging you for not listening to the truth, even though just because it's uncomfortable. You're in the existential shift. Existential shift. You think it's going to be easy or comfortable? It's going to be a joyride. It's going to be inspiring. It's going to be life-changing. Nobody said it was easy. What's going on in March? What's going on in March? Three cards that can speak about Pisces slash March. It's right after your birthday. I feel like uh, many of you are really diving into your inner world to create from there. Like some of you are writing something or working on something that is meaningful for you, uh, that it comes from your deep knowledge or from knowledge that you've learned and, and um, obtained throughout time. And now you feel like you want to express it. Some of you don't really know how to express it. So there are two groups in here. There are those who are really going at it and, and, and putting themselves out there and succeeding with it. And then there are those of you who are a little bit shy and still taking your time. And I feel like your exposure or you'll start feeling like you're on a roll more towards uh, around March. Um, I have the hangman under justice and I have two pages, one under the other. So some of you, because of some sort of legal matter or some sort of um, lawful decision, uh, this is very formal and it's just what it is, require to make a certain sacrifice from now until March. Like, a, a, and the sacrifice can literally come off, come out of your plate. So this have two meanings. Some of you, the sacrifice to live a life that is worth living, you feel like, okay, I'm taking meat off my plate. I just, I got it now because of the fish kind of jumping out. Um, and some of you, it's, it's like food off my plate, meaning money, okay, sacrificing money. So you're getting money, but then you're spending the money, but it's something that you have to do. Oh, I know someone this will really resonate with. bottom of the deck the world it will liberate you it will close a cycle and allow a new cycle to open it's going it's it's something very very meaningful and and here you are hi queen of swords okay so yeah i feel like you're 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 sacrificing something small just inconvenience for a bigger ideal or a bigger vision and the sacrificial lamb needs to take 
place until around February, March, and then marching on, there's liberation from it. Some of you are really, really opening up to the world, to new knowledge, to discover things that you didn't know you could care about, and now you suddenly really care about something that used to be minor in your life, but now have like a much bigger present, pre presence, big present. <laughs> mm. Like you, you've seen something, you have seen someone You've learned something about either a culture or a way of life, or you've seen someone specific, like a personality, a person doing something, talking about something, living a certain lifestyle, and it kind of opens up your chakras, and you're like, I think I want to do that. I think I believe in it, or I think, wow, like you're really inspired by it, and And this is you kind of trying, taking your time, apparently, the hermit, of figuring out what's your role in this, what you can do in this, with this, in regards to this, whatever. Because um, you want to make it unique in your own. I, I feel like some of you are... Um, learning from someone could be a mentor or a teacher or someone that sets an example an inspiration for you um that teaches you a lot and it's like uh in hebrew you call it your uh your light and naivety like uh, like the, the the morning star something that you know like a uh, seaman always ship would always follow the morning star way way before there was compasses or iphones <laughs> That's how they knew where north, south, east, west was. So it's like there's someone in your life that is like that to you. Um, that you're thinking about reaching out to them, but you're taking your time. You don't know how or if. One last card for Aquarius for January, please. Oh, okay. I guess it's two cards. Hi, Scorpio. So Scorpio, Aries energy is very strong here, most especially Scorpio, because even though the death card represents Scorpio, uh, the emperor today represents um, Aries, Mars, but it used to be represented by Pluto in, in the old tarot before, um, before Mars was discovered. Anyway, so this could also used to represent an ancient time, in, in ancient times, I'm so dramatic, a few hundred years back, it all, he also represented um, Scorpio. So there is a very strong male figure in your life um, that brings that energy, something um, almost aggressively controlling, like their way or their way kind of way. This could be a husband, a father, a boss. Um, that really has an effect on your mind. So I don't know if they're trying to um, derail you from all this or they're like trying to find themselves within this story. Because they're like thinking, wait, but what about me? How do I fit into this? And you're like thinking, how do I tell them that I want this to be mine and about me and for me and not necessarily cooperative but there is the element of needing to cooperate because it's like the empress and the emperor, right? It's the, it's the power couple. It's the feminine and the masculine, the archetype. Um, but what I have in between is the death card, the need of change, the need of uh, renewal. So I'm curious, you guys, please let me know in the comments how this um, speaks to you. And definitely some of you are either considering uh, having a, a child or you have a child this is relevant in this story. Um, some of you are, are, are taking really good sound advice from someone younger than you. It could be like a child or a younger figure that are wiser beyond their years. I see someone who is way, way wiser beyond their years. 
like there might be younger age but super mature in their mind and in their heart um, they kind of help you rise into different levels of consciousness and understanding of things maybe they are your inspiration or maybe they help you open up doors for that type of inspiration that you're looking up to um, Some of it could be an older family member, um, could be an old grandparent that you may have lost, that you're kind of looking up into the sky be like, oh, please give me guidance, what should I do? Show me. It's great, do it, and then listen to the signs, you know? Um, One second. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, some of you have been really goal oriented in regards to something. I don't know if it's uh, an aspiration or a dream or just a way of life. And it's really changing towards the end of January, February. Like suddenly you're opening your eyes and you're like, I think I kind of had my closure when it comes to this thing that I was doing. I feel like I need to do something else different. Um, that will because whatever this is that I'm doing now, it was great, but it no longer serves me. Or I need, I need, I need change. I need to open my eyes to new worlds or to new experiences. Um, and I feel like you'll be starting off on some sort of a journey in that way. This could be a spiritual inner journey. Uh, this could be a physical journey, traveling. The the world card can definitely uh, symbolize traveling. Um, it's amazing. I only have two minor arcana that are not court cards. Who else did I have it with yesterday? I did a reading for Gemini's and Libra's. So one or the other. And like only the Nine of Wands and the rest. Were, oh, I think it was Gemini. Like only majors. Only court cards and just the nine of wands. So you guys are, I just noticed it's the same thing. Only majors, only court cards. And then you have two um, regular minor, uh, minors. The ace and the two of pentacles. I think money-wise, don't worry. If you have concerns, things are lining up. Because um, you're on the right path, finally. You're, you're, you're putting yourself back on the right path. And only when we're on our right path is when shit can go well. <laughs> a bird flies, a fish dives. Okay, if a bird tries to dive, it drowns. If a fish tries to fly, it drowns in air. Be the best bird, but acknowledge your limitations and understand your path, which is the sky. Be the best fish, the most talented fish, but understand your limitations and understand that your realm is of the water. Yes, and then you're like, but there are creatures who can do both. Are you one of them? Yeah, of course there are. The crab can be in the waters and outside of the waters. I'm in. I'm in. Great. If you're that, then be in and be out. But if you're not, know thyself. Key to success, number one, know thyself. What is your potential, the best potential? Where is your heart? Bam! Go there. That's your route. Once you're on it, everything opens up. All the doors open up. Assuming you've, you've, you've figured out most of your karma anyway. Okay, let's do the thing that I do in my standard extended. Um, I don't have repetition of numbers. Uh, so other than the two that I can connect with the high priestess, which is two. Let's see what's up. Um, two pages and two queens. I don't know if I'll address them. Let's see.
Okay, so I have here, let's start from the beginning. High Priestess, the Empress, 2, 3, the Emperor, 4. I'll explain in a second what I'm doing. Um, and then we have 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 21. Great. This is 1. Oops, this is 2. This is one. Um, this here. So normally what I would do is I would take um, what I just did, all the majors, but there's nothing but majors and court cards on the table. So basically I just keep all the majors and make a reading. If I had like repetitions here, said I had, say I ha would have three threes on the table, I would also keep them here as a group. And then I would talk about the numer numerical aspect and the energetic and elemental aspect of the cards. And then a new reading comes up, comes out of it. I do it in my normal monthly extendeds. Um, and then after which I actually also do a Celtic cross, which is a complete new reading. And then I finish up with a message from the runes, the Celtic Nordic uh, Gaelic runes. This time, because we have an extended, it's just not the standard one. In the link below, you can find your yearly extended 12 months, one of which is January. So it will be an extended for this month for you, but also for all the months. So you can check it out and have something to return to every month to kind of refresh your um, messages and kind of help guide you. Uh, so link to that below. And because we're focusing on those extendants, I want to give you a little mini extended here for free. So again, if I had the more numbers that repeat themselves, I would use it, but I don't. So I'm going to play with the majors. Uh, okay. High Priestess, Empress, Emperor. I went chronologically, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 21. So this is a family, right? Persephone was Demeter's daughter. Demeter was one of, was uh, Zeus, Zeus's queen goddess. We have your strength and the hermit, both with animals. I don't know if you can see, I want to show you. They're, got, they're both closing their eyes and hugging their um, spirit animal. So they're very, very guided by their lunar cycles, by their higher self, by their soul. That's their truth, and they're very in tuned with that. And here we have. Um, the mundane, sacrificial element of life where we can't afford to only follow our inner guidance and only be in our spirit. We have to take care of business, make sacrifices, feel the pain, learn lessons and grow from the pain. These two learn and grow from silence. That's their strength. inner quiet, inner silence that guides them with their eyes closed. Their heart is very, very um, strong. They have a very strong heart that leads the way. Here, there's a lot of fear elemental. This is the, the constant student and the teacher cycle um, that remains. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the eternal student or I'm the eternal teacher, never snapping out of that uh, role play, um, constantly repetition of karma. The way to break this is by stopping the wheel, detaching completely from this um, cyclical joke, and just sitting with yourself. So if you're, um, if you resonate with what I just said about feeling like stuck in the cycle of karma, where you're constantly just one one thing, you always play that one role, like with all your life events and it's always like this, the same narrative and you're the same character only with a different name um, you need to really the advice is, is to really walk away detach yourself to find yourself sometimes the only way to find ourselves is by losing ourselves I think you should watch Gemini I, sp I speak a lot about that over there 
Now, see here the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Emperor. So if this group was the narrative of the karmic cycle of the role play, and if this group was the um, hermetic, wise, heart-based, um, soul-guided kind of personality, this group, I would say, is the metonymy of the macro of the gods. What am I saying? I'll explain. Miko versus Mako. Metonymy is like the little example of something that is much bigger. So people who embody the bigger archetype. So if you feel like you're embodying an archetype and that doesn't serve you anymore, drift away to figure out a new archetype that you would like to attach yourself to that will serve you better. Shed one costume, distant yourself until you find a new costume or figure out or rebuild, restructure a new costume and be a different character. We have the mother, the father, and the maid. Which one were you so far? Which one do you want to be? Now, when I say maid, that's a very small world, word for the high priestess. <laughs> she's the daughter, but she's also the queen of everything. She's the queen of the underworld. And she's the queen of life. And she just changes by the seasons. So maybe for some of you the advice is, hey, if being always the emperor wasn't working, or being always the empress wasn't working, if being always uh, Hades wasn't working, if being constantly life or constantly death wasn't working for you, maybe you want to be both. Maybe you think you need to decide between two different essences. Typecasts. But maybe that's why the Two of Pentacles has stayed here with, with the High Priestess, which is two. And then that makes two, two, twenty-two. Maybe that's your way of mastering yourself right now. Maybe that's your next level. That's your next leap. Combining different characteristics, different typecasts into something new, like a new, uh, like a, uh, how do you call, um, like a, a, a mutation. <laughs> Like to create, a, to be a mutation of two different things. Mutation sounds negative, so let's call it synergy. Um, and this is exactly what it is. It's for transforming from one way to another, but then that other includes all the elements. So it's not like coming from one element to another element. It's coming from being stuck on a, on a roll into, oh, I'm all of the above. How do you specifically, Aquarius, get to do this this time? By taking yourself a little bit away. By going within. Like a character that takes itself out of the story, out of the book, and starts reading the book. Start reading the book of your life. Be the narrator instead of a character. And then you'll see things in a much bigger perspective, much different perspective that really really allow you to kind of find yourself in it anew. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> um, something else I want to do just for a sec, just for the fun. Empress, the world, the hangman. Why? Empress is three, the world is 21, which is three. The hangman is 12, which is three. Two, one, one, two. Three, two, one, one, two. Hmm. What is seemingly small is actually very, very big. If, if you're doing something, small kindness, something that you feel isn't a big deal, that you're doing from the kindness of your heart, that you don't think you're, you're going to get anything out of it, it's not about getting anything out of it, you're just doing something for someone, you're helping out someone, or reaching out to someone with small little... Uh, um, deeds of kindness you should know it is being perceived as very very big it's like you see yourself walking in Cinderella rags but 
the person, whoever this is, is looking at you and they're seeing a goddess. And you have no idea because in your head, you are this Cinderella, Cinderella, this sacrificial lamp that only does for others but keeps staying in rags. But what you don't understand is what it is that you're uh, feeding or nourishing or giving to, even though he's seemingly upside down, reverse hung, look at the aura around them. They are much bigger than they seem to be. This is like the myth of, you know, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's an archetypal mythical uh, test. You will have um, a really ragged, old, dirty lady knocking at your door on uh, the coldest night of the year asking you for soup or some bread or whatever and if you close the door in her face she transforms into this evil wit evil into a like a very negative uh, vindictive um, witch and she and then you pay the price right she punishes you as opposed to if you do that kindness to something that allegedly can't give you anything because it looks like they're in rags, right? But you do that kindness out of the kindness of your heart and then she transforms into like a, a fairy godmother or a goddess that grants you a wish. It, I feel like some of you don't even know that you're that is going on with you, but you're doing something really right and the right person is very observant observant to that like look at the difference between these two females and this one right here but with the message that I'm getting here with the 333 which is um, very powerful um, spiritual master number that creates the nine it's, it's the universal um, code for truth and honor 333 three, three. if you behave truthful and honorable even when you think no one is watching someone is always watching and then your good karma will come back will, will, will grant you uh, what you're worthy of this is very, very pretty. I love this message. Thank you for allowing me to give you this message. Now there is the other one of the 2112. 21212. That, it's a code, right? I don't know if you ever get to see that a lot. I see it all the time. Uh, you know, the variations of 22 and 11. So 11 as a master number is the number of division. 22 is a master number. It's the vision that needs to take place in, in tangible reality that needs to be built and established for the generations to come. Okay, so 11 and 22 always have to work together and 22 plus 11 creates what? 33. 33 is the biggest master number. It's, it's the Christ. It's the, um, the professor, the, the prophecy, the prophesier. Um, that does for humanity with no expectation of a return and then they're being um, lifted to a position of you know a god or not a god or a guru or um, you know someone that is really viewed as like a leader a spiritual leader um, but if if you if you behave if this is the thirty if you behave like a this thirty three, oh look at me shiny. Look at me and this and that. You're not really. It's like the complete opposite of the actual essence of thirty three because thirty three is the number of service. It creates this number six. It's it's that type of three of the hangman of of the sacrifice of humility of modesty, of a work for the sake of the work and not for the sake of the gratification or, or, or for the applause. And also, this is very sweet, um, there is someone who has like really high status kind of figures around them. 
but he's completely looking away from them. See how, how uh, impressive they are? And he's looking at her. Because they're also self-absorbed, only in this in this narrative that I'm giving, self-absorbed in themselves and in their success and in how fantastic they are. Um, while she, with the rags, is giving the little bit that she has. Okay, it's like the more you have, the less you give. The less you have, the more you give kind of thing. Now, don't get me wrong. They, this is a very generous card as its interpretation. And most of the times when I say just specifically for this narrative and this combination in connection of the numbers and what I said, um, so that so back to the one two one two one two thing. Um, so eleven is the portal, right? Eleven is the portal between the worlds, of, of the above and the belows. The vision, it's 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 the kaleidoscope. It's it's the tunnel vision between the worlds. It's being able to have, uh, you know, like peeking into the other realms. Twenty two has the power to get us there. Okay, you have the vision. I see the target. Eleven just pointed it out. And then the 22 is like, okay, let's get there. And then their work together, that cooperation, that's the 33. Um, I'm trying to put into words specifically the element of 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and the repetition of the 12s or the 21s. Um, it's a life of great service to others that will grant you a lot a lot of everything you ever wished for but not in the way you thought so basically to get what it is that you want you need to do what you don't want um, you if if you want to succeed you need to work for other people's success if you work for other people's success or for um, or for the sake of an idea or value or uh, or something that is bigger than you that isn't about you that it doesn't put you in the center of things but a vision in the center of things or other people in the center of things that will turn back around and put you in the center of things but it can't be about that that's the trick that's the trick it needs to be and so Aquarius um, it's it's a very North Node Aquarius also like and here is and North Node Aquarius is South Node Leo so that makes a lot of sense someone that comes from being used to and wanting, really wanting to be in the center of things, and like the, the, the stars of the show, um, into having life teach them that they have to um, take themselves out of the equation, like teach themselves to go underneath, behind the scenes, underneath um, the veil, and and just and just create the energy, the life force. That allows things to happen above surface of you know of where above wherever wherever is they're hiding, okay. You know like ghost writers or writers or uh, someone produces something that is for others, but then you know like those who become famous are the actors. Even less you know the name of the director, but you still know the name of the director. But most people don't really know names of producers. Very specific. Very 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 few. It gets mentioned even even lesser when it comes to writers right so to be the star of the show you need to not be the star of the show that that's a tricky one I mean it's easy in action right you know what you can do to do that but you also have to be in that mindset of actually caring about what it is that you're um, giving service for like that needs to really matter you need to, you need to really believe in it and really care and really do the work from the heart and not just for the sake of uh you know cheating fate and be like you see i'm doing what you want me to do you're just cheating yourself because it's your soul that wants you to do it it's your soul that chose this life path so who who, who, who you're lying to um, but I feel like uh, January, February, March will be a very big pivotal uh, turning point in that in that regards for a lot of you guys. Okay, that was a long mini extended. Scheiße. Ten of the uh, oh, I didn't miss it. Okay, there, this was on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. Just because if it's there, I have to show it because it's freaking Ten of Cups. 
happily ever after. This is a very long, very long reading. Might as well would have done like the extended. Anyway, you you got a taste of what I do in the extended, just a third of it. Like I I then go, I need to stop talking. Uh, I Ching, let's let the I Ching speak. Okay. A message for my Aquarius. Aquarius Seekers for the month of January, please. Oh, for those of you who are celebrating a birthday, happy birthday, the end of January. Happy end of January birthdays and happy new year. Message for Aquarius. Okay, I got two that fell facing up, so I guess we're going to read both. I have 61 and 24. So let's start with 24. Fu, the turning point. Ah, didn't I just said turning point, pivotal turning point. Um, above earth, below thunder. Thunder within the earth. The old makes way for the new. Thunder under the earth is the image of the awakening energy of spring. Winter is a time for rest. And when that time is complete, there comes a turning point. When one is attuned to the cycles of nature, that turning point becomes apparent. So it is in, so it is in the activities of humankind, which have their own turning points, when success becomes more likely. This is like just concluded this entire reading. Seriously. I've been talking for an hour just for the I Ching to say it in like one paragraph. 61. Amazing. Amazing. Resonance. Unbelievable. Um, how would I can name this video? 61. Chung Fu, inner truth, above wind, below lake, wind over the lake, look below the surface. This is crazy. This is everything I've been saying. Wind ruffles the still surface of the lake, breaking up its reflection of the sky. Thus truth is separated from illusion. The lake is not heaven after all. Its depths hold their own truths, which must be explored by going beneath, um, by going beneath the surface. The wise person does not fear to stir the deep waters in search of inner truth. A life of illusion cannot be maintained forever. Yeah, if you're lying to yourself for the sake of convenience or because truth is harsh, I mean, wake the fuck up. You can't live like that. I'm sorry. You can't live like that. It's being known. It's lying to yourself. That's why you everything on the surface is feels great or supposed to be great, but you're you're unhappy because you 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 can't feel an illusion. You can't feel a fake costume. You can only feel what is true because truth lies in the heart. The lie lies in the mind. The truth lies in the heart. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second and the link below to your extended for 2019. Um, book a private reading with me, also link below. Study online tarot at your own pace with me, also link below. It's called Tarot Masterclass. Um, happy New Year, happy birthday. Um, I will also see you towards February. Thank you for being around. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is your opportunity right here. See my picture? Press it. Press subscribe. I love you much. Bye.